Hey everyone, welcome back. It's your girl Katie here, and today I have my summer Fab Fit Fun box here. So, of course, I'm going to be doing an unboxing of it. So, I'm just going to go ahead and get started. Alright, ooh, so the boxes are always very bright, very pretty. I love their art. I love the artwork on the boxes. So of course we have our magazine here for the season. It's very cute and very pretty. Very pretty. Although that pose, that pose does not look comfortable. <laughs> but I love her makeup. So of course on the inside is articles about the products and then of course the prices inside and just lots of little goodies in here. And I think it talks about the charity because I think this box works with charities a lot so it's talking about what charity they're working with, just things like that. Alright, so I'm just going to go in order of the magazine because um, there are sections where all members get to choose which items, like certain parts, and then after that it becomes only select members, which I think that costs more. You have to upgrade. I only have just the all members because I don't really care that much to have to pick everything that's in the box. And then of course there is some items in here that FabFit themselves picked for you. So I'm just going to go straight down the list. We're going to start with the all members part, and then after that I'll tell you whenever it's not my selection anymore, or it wasn't something I picked. All right, so the first item there were, let's see, one, two, there were six options. So the first option could have been a Draper James straw bag with floral scarf. It looks pretty cute, very um, beachy, but I'm, I don't go to the beach. I mean, I don't live anywhere near the beach. I mean, it could have been like a pool bag or something, but it just wasn't something that intrigued me and the next thing could have been a pot pottery barn mason ceramic diffuser in solist which was really cute and i thought about getting that one but again just didn't want it and then there was a do not age with dr brennett triple peptide eye cream um i've gotten several things from dr brennett before in boxes and i just didn't want that one i had really thought about this next option which is the l space tie-dye towel very cute um i really thought about that one but what i ended up going with was the yumi kim wireless charging pad oh i forgot to tell you guys what the prices of those stuff stuff was so let me do that real quick okay the bag the floral bag would have been 75 dollars the ceramic diffuser would have been 59 dollars Dr. Brannett was $82, um, the tie-dye towel was $58, and then the one that I chose is $35. So I'm just going to go ahead and pull this out. I'll go ahead and tell you what the last option was before I pull this one out. So the last option, the last option could have been the Lashes Eyelash Conditioner, um, and that was $69. Alright, so I just got, recently got kind of a new phone, and it has the has the built-in battery in there so I can do wireless charges now so I really wanted to get another one of these because I've been meaning to get one and this one's super cute so here is the cord that it comes with and then here's the actual battery part which I just think is gorgeous just very pretty I love the floral so I I'm glad they had this as an option because it's just gorgeous. I haven't tried it yet on my phone yet, so hopefully it'll work and everything, but that was very much something I was going to use. All right, so next option or next item, there are one, two, one, two, three, five options this time. Um, one of them being the Michael Kors Bedford Travel Passport Wallet, which I really thought about getting, but I didn't really like the design of it and I don't really travel that often, but that retails for $78, and you could have gotten a Business and Pleasure Co. cooler bag, which is $59, uh, Hydropeptide Moisture res Reset Face Oil, which is $120, or um, the Isaac Mazra 
blue and white kimono, which was $59. I did kind of want that one, but it was already out of stock by the time that I got to select, um, or when it was my turn to select stuff. Um, and then the one that I ended up getting was the R & Co. Television Perfect Hair Shampoo and Conditioner, um, which retails for $64. It's just, I don't know, like I don't usually choose these type of things, but I don't know, I hadn't tried any of these shampoo and conditioners, so I thought why not, and the other options just really didn't, just wasn't my thing, so these are the ones that I ended up going with. It's pretty good size, I would say that's really expensive though, $64 for shampoo and conditioner, and they're not even that big, like, but we'll see, I'll try it out. I'll see how I like it. They smell good. It's just I don't know why you would have to pay so much for shampoo and conditioner. It's just that the price just blows my mind. All right, third option. Um, so we're still in the select members. I think I got, I think this is the last one that I was able to select. And then after this, it'll be what they pick for me. All right, so the third option has about, or the third product has one, two, three, seven. This next one had seven options. Dang. All right. So first up is the one that I chose, and I'm just showing you now because it is the one that I chose. So the Giving Key Mini Necklace mini key necklace and this is retails for $45. I just thought this was really cute. I've been really into necklaces lately so that's why I chose this one in this little plastic thing but I'm going to pull it out so that you guys can get a better look at it. It's a very cute uh, necklace and the little key says believe on it. It's just a very dainty piece. And again, this retails for $45. I would never pay that much um, just because, I don't know, it's, I'm cheap, okay guys? All right, <laughs> other options could have been the Cola Mineral Face Organic Matte Finish Sunscreen Lotion, which retails for $36. Um, the Another Cola Mineral Face Matte Finish Cucumber Sunscreen Lotion, which again, $36. I was kind of tempted to get that, but I chose the necklace over the sunscreen just because I can get sunscreen anywhere. All right, then you could have gotten the Tom's Sydney sunglasses, which retail for $58. The black peel off hydrogel eye mask with hyaluronic acid, set of five for $59. I think I've actually, I have those, or I have tried those. So I think it's a peel off mask. Okay, so it is a peel off mask and eye mask set. So there's actually two products in considering that one. Um, then you could have gotten the Kate, you could have gotten the Kate Somerville Goat Milk Moisturizing Cream, which retail for $65. And then lastly, the Prep Rally Prime and Prep Detangular, which retails for $23. And I think I actually have that one. I don't remember if I got it in this box or a Foxy Charm. I think I might have already gotten this one in the last of, uh, that's it. I was tempted to get the Tom's uh, sunglasses, but I have gotten sunglasses um, and I think my last summer box, so I don't really need, you know, more than one pair of sunglasses. All right, so from here on out is what they chose for me. Yeah, so from here on out, I didn't have a select membership, um, so it's up to them now. All right, so there are only three options for the fourth product. So first up is the one that they chose for me is the... Aloe and tear treat, tea, aloe and tea tree toner by Tara Mar Terry Marie. I don't, I don't know if I'm saying that right. Um, which retails for fifty four dollars. So it comes in this very pretty box. Like this product looks bougie, like fancy, and it's in like this. They bubble wrapped it very well. I think it was bubble wrapped, and I think they did it because this is a. I think it's a glass bottle. Right, so here it is. A little ASMR for you guys. 
All right, so here it is, very nice. I'm excited to try this out. Um, but yeah, $54 for this. All right, and the other two options could have been the Zoa, Zoe Ali, Ali Ice Roller, which is $30, or the Silk Satin Pillow Sleeve, which retails for $29.50. I would have been okay with the one that I got or the the or the silk satin pillow sleeve I was kind of curious to get, I was kind of hoping I'd get in that one just because I wanted to try it out um, but I am um, happy with the one that they did give me fifth product had four options um, so first off could have been the Isaac Mazra loves XO Sienna base which retails for $28 which did look really neat like nice and I was kind of hoping for that one um, the one that they ended up sending me was the lifestyle co beach mist so this is a reset and refresh your skin. I guess, I think it's supposed to like you go sunbathing and then you kind of put this on afterwards to kind of cool your skin down. So this retails for $42, which it is nice looking. I mean, I'll try it out. I don't usually like go and tan or anything. Um, but I mean, if I'm out doing yard work or something, then I would probably, I would spritz this on afterwards. Maybe so I won't get burnt. I did get burnt already this summer, which was not good. So I really need to keep up with the sunscreen. All right. Two more options could have been the Amica Brooklyn Bombshell Blowout Spray, which retails for $25, or the Grace and Stella Hyaluronic Acid Hydrating Serum, which retails for $25. So honestly, I think I would have been okay with any of those. All right, from here on out is ones that they chose for the members. So none of us had a say in this. All right, so first up is the Riddle Oil Original Roll-On um, Perfume, I guess, or scent or something, which just retails for $50. And um, I did go ahead and open this because I can't wait. <laughs> And I was really curious, and I did try this out. So supposedly, you're supposed to put this on, roll this on, and like the, the smell of this plus your own scent, it's supposed to create your own personal perfume. I tried it out, and I hated it. I guess I don't like my own scent because it smelled so bad to me that I'm not going to be able to use this. So I might pass it on to somebody else to see if they want to see if they like it, but... It is a very interesting, like, product and idea. I've never heard of a product like this, but it just don't work out for me. I guess I don't like my own smell. All right, then you could have gotten the Winky Lux Unibrow Universal Eyebrow Pencil, which is $16. Then what, another product that I ended up getting, I think that they choose three out of all these options. All right, so the one that they sent me is the Foot Cream by Cali Cosmetics. Um, so the foot cream has methanol, methyl and taraka. I don't know what that is. Anyways, this retails for $24. I have to say I'm not a huge fan of foot creams just because I don't usually use them. Maybe I will start using them. I probably should, but I just don't. All right, and then I'm just going to read you the other two, three options before I tell, show you the last product because there's only one more product in here. So they, I could have gotten the Mur Murad essential C cleanser which retails for $40 or the Spongella coconut verbian hand cream which retails for 18 or the Wanderer Beauty baggage claim gold eye mask uh, a pack of six for $25 and then the last one that they picked for me was the makeup drop drop hybrid uh, hybrid makeup applicator which retails for $20 I'm not really for sure how I feel about this um I mean I'm I'm gonna use it and I'll try it out and the reason being is it's a hybrid, whereas it has the silicone side of a sponge. Like it has the spongy part, and then on the other side, it has the silicone side, which I just, I don't like the idea of silicone, like using that to apply my foundation. That's just not really going to work for me, I don't think. But I'm going to try it. I haven't tried it yet, so... Maybe I'll like it. Maybe I'll be blown away by it. But it just doesn't sound like it's going to work. 
All right, so that is everything in the box. Let me go ahead and tally everything up so I can let you know the overall value of this box. Um, I did pay $50 for it, which I think they might charge. I'm pretty sure they charge tax and I don't know if they charge shipping. I think it comes out to around $54. So I'm pretty sure that has to do with tax. So let me go ahead and tally everything up and then I will tell you guys my final thoughts. All right, so the overall value for my box is $334, which is pretty good, you know considering I only paid 50 something dollars for it. Now, to be realistic, like, I don't know, some of these products, like, I like getting them and stuff, but I would never pay that much for them. And that makes me wonder if that's why they're kind of in these subscription boxes, because no one's buying them. Um, I am excited to try out the shampoo and conditioner. Will I repurchase this, purchase this afterwards? Probably not, because I would not pay 64, was it 64? Yeah, $64 for two shampoo and conditioner, and they're not even, like, that big. No, I would not pay that much for that. I'm actually really, I think my favorite product in here is the charger. I I think, you know, $35 is not that bad of a price for it. It is, you know, pretty pricey, but it's not the worst. Um, it's the necklace I am going to be wearing. I'm, I mean, I just would not pay that much for it. Unfortunately, it's just very small. And, I mean, it doesn't look like it's too cheap, but it doesn't, like, strike me as anything spectacular. I know skincare is super expensive, so this price, although I would never pay for it, it doesn't shock me that much. It's $54, and it is in a nice, con you know, glass container, and the box is really nice, so it looks higher end. It's just I've never even heard of the brand before, so it makes me wonder. Um... The Beach Mist is just kind of a eh product for me. I'm it's I would never pay forty two dollars for this, but it is. I'm gonna try it out. I mean, maybe it's amazing. I don't know. And then I'm not really impressed with the add-on, like the ones that they picked for me. They're not add-ons. I'm not really impressed with the ones that they chose for me. I mean, I'll use the sponge, but I really don't like these hybrid ones. This roller thing is. Ugh. It's, it's a weird product, and I'm not saying that a weird product is a bad product. It's just it doesn't work for me. Like I said, I tried it on my skin, and I didn't like the smell of it, and it's, it's stuck on my skin. Like, I could smell it for the rest of the day. Even though I washed it with, like, soap and water, I could still smell this. So this is a no-go for me. And foot creams. I just feel like foot creams are just kind of add-on. Like, I feel like the foot creams are just kind of, like, space fillers in a way. I'm... I don't use them. Um, I don't know of many people that do. Maybe people do use them. I just don't. So it's just kind of an eh product. But overall, I'm happy with it. I mean, I don't feel, I feel like I got my money's worth for sure. This is definitely one of the better things about doing these subscription boxes is it's, I would never buy this stuff out, right? Just for me. Like if I saw it in the store, I wouldn't purchase it. But it's a way to save money and then try things that I probably would never buy for myself. So, I, I don't know. It gets me out of my comfort zone, which is good because I get comfy and then I don't kind of step out of it. But this is a way to force me to, like, try other things, to try new brands, you know. So, it works out for me. But, yeah, that is going to do it for today. Um, overall, very happy with this season's box and I'm looking forward to next season. Alrighty, guys. That's going to do it. So, let me know down in the comments if you are subscribed to, uh, to FabFitFun and what you guys thought if, of your box if you got one this season. Or just let me know your thoughts on the products that I received. Do you think, you know, this is a pretty good box? Do you guys be like, eh, that's not really for me? Just let me know down in the comments. I love chatting with you guys down in the comment section. So make sure to give this video a thumbs up if you like seeing these types of videos. And also, if you are new here, hi, welcome. My name is Katie. Um, don't forget to hit that subscribe button before you leave. I would love for you guys to join my little family here on YouTube. Um, but yeah, other than that, guys, I hope you guys have a wonderful day and a wonderful week. And I will catch you guys in my next video. Bye.